What's up, a cinema shogun here, and there has been a lot of woke, cringe things said during the marketing of the Rings of Power, and I gotta say, you know, Sophia Nomvet had to be the worst of them all. The character, or the the lady that plays Disa's nuts, you know, in the show, the black dwarf lady that seems to talk about nothing but identity politics whenever she's asked questions about her character. You know, the lady that hasn't told us anything about the Rings of Power, but instead always talks about how it's important that she was casted in this role because she's the, four, the first black dwarf ever. Well, I thought that she was by far the worst, the cringiest, but you know what? There is someone else that is looking to take that top spot. There is another cast member from the Rings of Power that just wants to give this woman a run for her money, and that is Lenny Henry. Lenny Henry has been in the headlines a lot recently. At one point, he was basically bragging about the fact that they are changing Tolkien's world, and now he is making headlines for making this Simple yet idiotic statement. Here is what he says. God bless them all. They have no trouble believing in a dragon. But they do have trouble believing that a black person could be a member of the court. Or that a black person could be a hobbit or an elf. Actually, storytellers can do what they want. Because they're storytellers. And the reimagining of stories from thousands of years ago, they are not part of the canon that everybody knows. There is a reimagining and a reweaving of the story. Man, these people love the word reimagining. And by these people, I mean SJWs. I don't mean what you may think I mean. But these SJWs, it's always about. We have to reimagine this world. We have to tell a modern day retelling of this story. As soon as I hear the words reimagining or retelling, I hightail my ass out of there. Yet here he is. Oh, they can believe in dragons, but they can't believe in black hobbits. Black hobbits were never part of Tolkien's world. Dragons were. This is fantasy, yes. But there are pre-established rules within fantasy. Or within anything. I don't watch anime. I don't sit down and watch Dragon Ball Z. And then all of a sudden, see Stormtroopers. If there were stormtroopers in Dragon Ball Z, I would be like, hey, wait, they don't belong here. Mind you, people are flying around. They're shooting key blasts out of their hands. They're fighting aliens. They're fusing into each other to make one person. And yeah, you have to suspend your belief to get into that. But when something foreign is brought into that property, that doesn't belong there, it takes you out of the immersive feeling of being in that world. Every fantasy world, every sci-fi world you could name or, an, or imagine, they have their rules within that world. When you watch Star Wars, it's not the same as Star Trek. There aren't Jedi in Star Trek and there are Klingons in Star Wars. So yeah, if I'm watching Star Wars and I'm watching a movie about space wizards using, you know, telekinesis to move things around and fight with laser swords and I see Spock walk out of a freaking TIE fighter, I'm going to be like, hold up, wait a minute. This is, no, I don't believe this anymore. No, no, no. Same thing goes here. It's not like, oh, they can believe in this and that, but they can't believe in black hobbits and elves. No, it's just because black hobbits and elves were never a part of Tolkien's story. And you're trying to add him, them in there now 
because you're trying to be politically correct. It's not even because you casted the best actor for the role. It's not because you have a specific story to tell. You just did it to check boxes. And the way Hollywood works nowadays, they check the boxes and then they don't care about anything else. They give you a strong woman, Mary Sue, female lead character. They surround her by a couple of gay characters and a couple of people of color. And then they don't care about making you care about the characters, like the characters. They don't care about the script. None of that. The Rings of Power, there is nothing to like about the Rings of Power. And I can guarantee you all, if you sit down and watch it, the changes in, in diversity and the diversity hires and the race swaps, it will be the last thing on your mind. You could go watch my review. Yeah, we've had complaints about the race swapping and the, the stuff that these SJWs do leading up to the show. But once I saw the show, that was the last thing on my mind. The only thing I was thinking about is how in the hell do I get the time back that I wasted watching this garbage nonsense? Because it is totally unfun to watch. It is a chore. And I have yet to work up the nerve to watch episode two, although I promised all of you all I would do it today. But as far as what this guy has to say, it's total nonsense, more total nonsense coming from the cast of the Rings of Power. I expect nothing less. It's only going to get worse from here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.